people celebrate last day of Yausan, Impal West reported 70 cases of rot mishap compared to one in Impal East during the festival. Senior advocate Kaidem Mani says there is no good governance in the state as people elected the wrong representatives. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi raises issue of water conservation in his monkey bath. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime News. I'm Lighting Monica with the top stories. People in and around Imphal City today celebrated the last and fifth day of Yaosung Festival by pouring color waters on passers-by and putting colors on each other. Many young groups were seen carrying water tanks on vehicles, throwing water to the people on the roads. As part of the Yaosung celebrations, Kangli Extreme organized a bike stunt at Sagolban NRL pump. Bikers of the association displayed different extreme stunts. While in Mantripuki, electronic dance music EDM was held in front of Route 39 restaurant. Young crowds enjoyed the music and danced to the music of EDM. On the other hand, Manipur Police conducted routine frisking at various areas to avoid untoward incidents. Those riding vehicles without helmet, valid documents, underage drivers were fined by the police personnel. Compared to previous year, the number of road accidents during Yaosung Festival was less this year. In Imphal East, a single case of road mishap was reported in the last five days and one case of casualty was admitted to Jenims at Poromat. According to Jenims Police Picket, there was no report of accidents in the last days except the one reported on the first day of Yaosung. In contrast, Imphal West reported 70 cases of road mishap involving two wheeler and two deaths in accidents. Sources said this year no major accident was reported in the Imphal West district. Manipur police had taken elaborate measures to prevent road accidents and other untoward incidents. Today, many youngsters were seen enjoying the last day riding two-wheelers in greater Imphal areas. In many places, young boys and girls threw colour water on the people on the road and put colours. Meanwhile, police and traffic personnel booked the traffic violators and imposed fine on them. It may be mentioned that the traffic police have collected a considerable amount of fines during the drive against traffic violators during the festival. The last and fifth day of the Yaosung Festival witnessed several long-distance races as an event of Yaosung Sports Festival in various parts of the state. Many clubs and organizations in Imphal organized long-distance races. Both men and women, irrespective of age, took part in the races. The races were flag off at Kanjipur, Lilong, Waitho, Thobal, Samurao, Kumbong, etc. The runners were accompanied by volunteers until they reached their destination. Onlookers encouraged the athletes by clapping their hands on the roadsides in many areas. Oh, God. 
Senior advocate Kaidem Mani today lamented that the state has no good governance. He said unless there is good governance, citizens cannot be benefited under the various existing acts. Senior advocate Kaidem Mani was speaking during the consultation program on emerging social issues and the law held at Uribok Cherab Court Conference Hall. Other legal experts spoke on topics like violence against women and children in Manipur, right to food under law and the National Food Security Act 2013 during the consultation program. Kaidem Mani, who moderated the discussion, emphasized the urgent need to discuss the rising crimes against women and children in Manipur. He maintained that there is no good governance in the state as people have not elected good representatives. Kotna Aranba Atumba Tauba Aranohi Tauba Chipisar Tauvi Adubu Sason Literadi Asisu Mahichate. For example, economic blockade Ban Asi Ainayate and Supreme Court na Lao Tokare. Ado mani purda di economy blocker amasung ban sa namit kudingi tawi mapon mama na talaga amada. Ado masi thingbang amde ado di governance to kalay dalere. Governance lay talaga di ay napira iba nangi right ni economy blocker tawo yaroy mio ibigay mabuktat pa yaroy. Hai ba sa ay napira ay ko yung sasol lay tawni na ay nuchalan bang amdre yaba. Sing Jomai Police, under the supervision of additional SP Law and Order, Dr. S. Bomcha, today destroyed local and foreign liquor seized from Mathail Meat Center and AS Meat Center located at Sing Jomai Chingamaka in a drive this evening. Six cases of Indian made foreign liquor, 20 foster can beer, 12 bottles tubog beer, 12 bottles of Kingfisher beer. 12 bottles Hayward 5,055 litres of country liquor were set on fire at Singjumai Chingamaka. The drive was led by Singjumai Police Station SDPOM Roni and OC Ingocha. Tongjai Marine District Demand Committee has called for a 24-hour ban from the midnight of March 28 to press their demand for Tongjai Marine District. The committee has been demanding to form a full-fledged Tongjai Marine District by carving out lands from Tamenglong Senapati, Churichanpur District and Ziribam Subdivision. In a press release, the committee said all vehicles except those on medical duty and other essential services and religious ceremonies will be prohibited on National Highway 37 from Kaitilmanbi to Izai Bridge, Noni, from Kongsang to Gulathol, Police station bordering Ziribam subdivision and from Chinikon to Riangpang. The 36th Red Army Uprising Day of the People's Revolutionary Party of Kangli Park Pripak was held on March 26. The day was celebrated in the Central Headquarters, General Headquarters, Tactical Headquarters, Base Area, Transit Camps and Training Centers of the outfit. Assistant Secretary of Publicity and Propaganda Leba Ngakpa Luang in a press release said the Chief of the Red Army, Lieutenant Colonel Ahiba Angom, inaugurated the function. World Theatre Day was celebrated at Sri Sri Nityananda Mandap Yumnam Lekai. Several theatre personalities and theatre lovers of Manipur took part in the celebration. Culture <laughs> Sinasing 
Let's take a short break. We'll be back with more news updates. Manipur ki ahamba beautification center. Mapam sida mahing uring unsa khuiba ari badak pham phahan bangami. Ketu mall freckle na ching basu lothok payai. Hakchang ki ahen ba fet pam da ba body ki hair lothok payai. Ahan ba lakpi ba 100 customer da skin test amadi doctor consultation lemne ing jagan. Ngasimak unaviu Dr. Modubala Laser Beauty Clinic MZ Avenue Imphal. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime News. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today raised the issue of water conservation in his radio program, Man Ki Baat. In many parts of the country already facing water crisis, the Prime Minister in his 18th edition of Man Ki Baat asked people to conserve water. Modi said, this is a very important time for farmers. All of us have to think about one thing and that is water conservation. Water conservation is something all of us need to work on and everyone should be connected to a people's movement to conserve water. Addressing farmers, the Prime Minister said a Kisan Suvida app has also been launched. He said the government on its part is constructing 5 lakh farming pools across the country. He also said under Manrega efforts are being made to conserve water. Modi also led strays on sports and asked people not to waste their time in the holidays and instead hone up a skill of their choice. He said, don't let your holidays go just like that. Pick up one skill during the holidays. Modi announced that India will be hosting FIFA Under-17 in 2017. Congratulating Team India for their win against Pakistan and Bangladesh in ICC World T20, Modi also extended his wishes for a match against Australia. After days of political tussle in Uttarakhand, President's rule has been imposed in the hill state. Sources said President Pranab Mukherjee signed the proclamation under Article 356 of the Constitution this morning. It comes a day before Chief Minister Harish Rawat was to face floor test in the state assembly. The recommendation for central rule was made by Union Cabinet at its emergency meeting on Saturday night, which was chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who cut short his visit to Assam. After the cabinet meeting, Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley briefed the president last night. The state assembly has been kept in suspended animation. Rebel Congress MLA Subodh Unial blamed party vice president Rahul Gandhi for the crisis, saying he misjudged the situation. Another rebel Congress MLA Harish Rawat also backed Unial and blamed the Congress High Command for the current situation. Uttarakhand Governor K.K. Paul also submitted a report to the centre mentioning a complete breakdown on law and order in the state. A five-member joint investigation team from Pakistan reached New Delhi to carry forward the probe into the recent Pathankot Air Base attack. The team comprises of officials from both the military intelligence as well as civil administration. This will be the first time that Pakistani intelligence and police officials are travelling to India to investigate a terror attack. The team will be visiting NIA headquarters in New Delhi tomorrow and later leave for Pathan Court. Sources said India plans to provide the probe team access to all witnesses in the Pathan Court terror attack case but not to security personnel from National Security Guard or the BSF. New Delhi has been pressing Islamabad for action on the attack by terrorists on the key Indian Air Force base in Pathan Court in January this year, which claimed the lives of seven security personnel. All terrorists involved in the attack were killed in the gun battle. Several temples have resurfaced for the first time after over three decades along the stretches of the Godavari passing through Chandori village. The village is around 25 km from Nasik and stretches of Godavari have dried up because of the ongoing drought in regions of Maharashtra. As per a report in the Times of India, the last time the villagers had seen some of these temples was way back in 1982. This was when Nasik had witnessed a drought of this scale. The report also said the Archaeological Survey of India ASI has no record of this ancient temples. The only mention of the structures and guards along the Godavari could be found in the Nasik Gadgeta dating back to the British era. According to the Nasik Gadgeta, the guard and the temples were submerged after the Nandur Madhya Meshwar Dam was built in 1907.
Now news from the world of sports. Recent youth club Moidangpok have won the second state-level inter-village volleyball tournament. In the final match played today, recent youth club Moidangpok defeated HYDCCL Hekruzam 25-22, 25-16 and 25-18. Recent youth club Moidangpok's KH Yaifaba was declared the best player of the tournament, while HYDCCL Hegruzam's and Harrison the best setter. Twelve teams participated in the tournament organized by recent youth club Moidampok from the 22nd of this month. Member of the Parliament Dr. T. H. Mainya and Konthosam MLA K. Sarat attended the closing function. All Manipur Students' Union won the Inter-JSCC Football Trophy and Imphal S District Football Association clinched the 5th Kangle Park Football Trophy. In the final match of Inter-JSCC Football Trophy, All Manipur Students' Union defeated Kangle Park Students' Association 3-0, while Imphal S District Football Association defeated DSA Bishnupur 2-0 in the 5th Kangle Park Football Trophy. The tournament were organized by All Manipur Football Association and Kangle Park Students Association at Mapal Kangjebung as part of the 5th Kangle Mega Sports Festival. Genem's Director Dr. L. Deben, KSO General Secretary Sengboy Haukip and KSA President M. Lakshman, among others, attended the closing ceremony of the sports festival. Team India will lock horns with Australia in a do-or-die Group 2 match of the World T20 at Mohali this evening. The match will begin at 7.30pm. The winner will progress to the semi-finals and join New Zealand, West Indies and England in the last four. In a must-win game, host India will be up against Australia to secure the second spot in the group as the match will decide the semi-finalist and the eliminating side. In the match, which is a virtual quarter-final, both teams will look to put their best so. In the match, if the match is cancelled due to rain, then it will be the end of Team India's campaign. India need a victory against Australia to keep their hopes alive of winning the title for a second time. The winner of the clash between the two cricketing giants are likely to meet the Caribbeans in the last four. Before we end, a quick look at headlines once again. People celebrate last day of Yaosan. Imphal West reported 70 cases of road mishap compared to one in Imphal East during the festival. Senior Advocate Kaidam Mani says there is no good governance in the state as people elected the wrong representatives. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi raises issue of water conservation in his monkey bath.